What's up guys, JV2017 here with my very last Destiny tips and tricks video before the Taken King comes out. I am so excited for tomorrow and I hope all of you are as well. Today I thought it'd be kind of cool to wrap up year one by looking at two weapons that have been rumored to replace the Galahorn, which we all know has been nerfed and will not be receiving the year two upgrade treatment. So these two weapons are Sleeper Simulant, which I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of by now, and Touch of Malice, which was more recently revealed through the Destiny database through data mining, which is what a lot of people are able to do to find leaked weapons and such. So keep in mind that this video is pure speculation. I don't know at this point which one's better. We're just talking about it. I thought it'd be an interesting video to make, especially considering, you know, the Galahorn really characterized year one for a lot of people. It was the go-to weapon. And so it'd be kind of cool to look at, hey, what's going to be, you know, the year two go uh, go to weapon and hopefully there is no just one weapon but anyways also enjoy the mayhem clash in the background super fun game mode it's so much fun I really encourage you guys to check it out as well so first let's talk about the sleeper simulant this weapon is an exotic heavy fusion rifle which is very interesting in and of itself it's gonna be interesting to see what the utility of that is and if it's worth it, you know, the fact that you're getting a fusion rifle instead of something like an LMG or a rocket launcher in your heavy exotic slot. So this weapon over penetrates targets. So kind of like a normal fusion rifle, but probably even more so. It's probably more pronounced. You could probably over penetrate more people. It could be infinite, you know, if you line up people, it could be like a sniper rifle in Call of Duty and you just get a collateral. Um, you can already get that with a fusion rifle, but it's probably more pronounced, as I said. That's the first special perk about this weapon. And also, the second one is that it ricochets. The projectiles bounce. So, think hard light here. It's exactly the same kind of uh, scenario there. And also, there's another perk that increases the amount of bounces that those projectiles have to five, which is a lot. And actually, the magazine size is at three, so that's actually not a lot, but... If you think about the potential for how many ricochets you can get, and we're gonna have to get some hands-on, you know, experience with this weapon to see actually how effective it is, but a lot of people are speculating on Reddit that it is as powerful, if not more powerful, than the Galahorn, at least on paper. And a little bit of an issue there in terms of the power is that you actually have to aim this thing. With the Galahorn, obviously we had Wolfpack rounds. We didn't have to really worry about aiming. You have to aim the sleeper stimulant, so it may be that if you are really on point with your aiming, this is a weapon that's going to be incredible. You know, it's going to be very good, but probably for the general population, it might not be as good. But again, remember, this is all speculation. We don't know for sure. And so that's really what I got on the sleeper stimulant. Now let's talk about the touch of malice, which is even more interesting. So this weapon has been referenced by Luke Smith, which is like the head game raid designer. He's the big head guy at Bungie who's involved with a lot of stuff uh, with Destiny and he has talked about it and said that the touch of malice this weapon is just the product of all of Bungie's work it's just the pride of year two according to Luke Smith and so people have data mine like I said before and come up with this image right here so you can see this weapon looks very good very powerful very unique, very inspired by the Hive and the Taken. You can see that little orb in the middle. That's very Taken. If you guys have been watching, you know, Destiny trailers, their, uh, you know, Bungie reveal streams, all of that, this looks like a Taken weapon. And so a lot of people are speculating that this might be a heroic raid drop in King's Fall from Oryx himself. People are rumoring that it is from a quest line uh, that you have to complete by going through the raid. Uh, we don't really know. There's nothing confirmed right now. This is mere speculation, like I said. Also, people have tied it through the database to this one weapon that has these characteristics. I'm going to share them with you guys, but we don't know if this is absolutely, uh, you know, the case here. So, with this weapon, you get a... First off, it's a rocket launcher. That's what this data mine thing says. I don't know about that because, as you can tell from the thing I threw on the screen, that doesn't really look like a rocket launcher to me. Uh, maybe that's just me. It doesn't look like a rocket launcher at all to me. But they tie it to this arc heavy weapon that has a few interesting uh, little perks going on here. So the first one is dubious ordnance. This weapon delivers a high energy volley of explosive ordnance. So 
A volley is multiple projectiles. This is huge. This is this is a massive explosion. This is not just, you know, a typical legendary, you know, rocket launcher explosion. This is this is big stuff. So that's a very big explosion there. And also another perk, dubious munitions, kills from the volley at another round to the volley. So if you imagine, let's just say speculation here, that you shoot this weapon and five you know, volley, five individual volley rockets normally shoot out. If you kill five people, does that mean that you get 10 with the next shot? This is just something I had in my mind, but it sounds like the potential for it is crazy. And that's why um, this may be the touch of malice, but also it might not be. So that's why I'm being very careful with you guys. I don't want to confirm something and then have you guys come back and say, you were wrong. Um, not just that, just for my own, you know, integrity but anyways guys this is what i have in terms of speculation on really powerful weapons in the taken king perhaps these weapons will be the new galahorn maybe they won't maybe one will maybe won't one will not uh, we'll just have to see anyways guys i hope you are so excited for tomorrow i hope you learned something new from this video and if you did remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate it also stay tuned tomorrow obviously i'm going to be uploading at least one taken king video the video I have in mind is how to level up, how to get up to level 40 as fast as possible, because I know that's a what a lot of people are going to have in their mind. So I hope you will join me tomorrow, and I will talk to you then, tomorrow. Peace.